Give me a minute and let me introduce you to the latest threat from Russia. Dubbed the UMPB D-30, this is Russia's universal interspecific glide munition, and this is new. This is basically a Fab 250 glide bomb. Um, so it's got a 100 pound, uh, I'm sorry, a 100 kilogram warhead, weighs in at about uh, 250 pounds. And what they've done is they've added a new rocket motor to it, extended uh, extendable glider wings, and uh, a hook to the GLONASS nat GPS system, right? Like Russia's GPS, GLONASS. Now, the practical upshot of this is that this glide bomb has a range three times that of normal glide bombs. That means that Russian aviation doesn't have to get as close to the front line, doesn't have to be as vulnerable, and can pepper Ukrainian cities with these things. This, this was just used for the first time on the city of Kharkiv this week. This represents a dangerous escalation in the technical precision of Russian munitions. With this thing, the Air Force will be able to keep their jets back away from the dangers of the front line while they pummel, pummel Ukrainian front line positions with 100 kilogram warheads, just like they did to destroy and level Avdivka, just like they're doing right now to destroy and level Kharkiv and Sumy and everything in the northeast corner of the country while they try to erase from history the Ukrainian people, culture, and language. It is a difficult time here in Ukraine. The lack of U.S. support for the last six months, the shortage of shells, the shortage of ammunition, the shortage of weapons, and Russia full bore on trying to figure out how they're going to destroy the Ukrainians while in Washington they quibble over whether or not to send a few ATACMs. Until the F-16s get here, until the U.S. unblocks its aid, it's going to be tough here. Don't forget about us. If you're an American, call your congressman and tell them to sign the discharge petition today.